Tammy with Collar Valley Cooks. Today we're going to do one of our favorites out of the Volume 1 cookbook. It's called Parmesan Chicken. Um, I like to use whole grain spaghetti because it's healthier. I buy marinara sauce so that it's convenient. Of course you can make one. I have a recipe in my recipe book. Um, we're going to use some Parmesan cheese and grate that. Um, it's always good grated. I'll use some sliced mozzarella cheese and we're going to use some Italian style croutons um, to bread our chicken in. This is a great recipe in our first volume cookbook called Parmesan Chicken. Boy do we love it. It is great. So let's get started and start getting our chicken prepared. Okay I'm going to use these croutons and I just beat them up in the bag with a, my little meat uh, mallet so um, I do a good job of beating them because you want them to be in small pieces because we're actually going to use these to bread our chicken and it works really good. It's got a lot of flavor because all of the um, flavor that's in these croutons gets all over the chicken. So you don't even have to flavor, you don't even have to season your chicken because these croutons do it for you. Okay, I've got three pie plates. One has my chicken marinating in whole buttermilk. Now you're going to want to buy thin ch chicken breasts. So go ahead and get them already prepared as thin chicken breasts. Okay. We're going to let these marinate for about 30 minutes in the buttermilk. The next uh, pan we're going to use, these are pie plates, is a half cup of self-rising flour. Make sure you sift it if it's lumpy. Now, then we're going to take our croutons and we're going to put them in this third pie plate. So these are three steps um, when breading your chicken that you will have to do. So let's get these put in this one and we're going to start breading our chicken. Okay, you're going to pick up a piece of chicken one at a time, let it drip and get most of the buttermilk off of it. Then you're going to put it in your flour and you're just going to lightly dredge it. I actually like to sift this flour because it works so much better if it's sifted to get just the right amount on the piece of chicken. The only reason you're putting it in the flour is just so that it will bind with the croutons. Okay, So now you're going to place it in the croutons and we are going to take these croutons and press them into the piece of chicken really, really well. And that way the chicken's got a real good coating of croutons. So that's another reason when you beat up these croutons, you want to make sure and get them small enough. Because if you don't, your breading will not be on the chicken cutlet evenly. So I just scoot my flour over a little bit and I bread each piece of chicken the same way. This is a preheated skillet. You're going to want to add oil to it. Um, and I typically put in about a quarter of an inch of oil. And you're going to wait till that heats up. And let's, uh, we'll put a little bit of a crouton in there once it starts to sizzle. Then we're going to know that it's ready to fry. Okay? So we'll put that down in there. It's almost time to drop the chicken, so I'm going to drop the pasta. And always add a teaspoon of salt to your pasta water. All right, it's nice and warm. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. I think it's a little bit too warm. Okay, we're going to we're going to put in two pieces of chicken. I may can get them all in here, but I don't think I can. So we're just going to start out with two pieces at a time. You're going to cook these two minutes, no, three minutes aside. So I'm going to put my timer on three and hit the start button. If your oil is too hot, they'll get too brown. So make sure you turn it back down to medium once it's nice and hot so that you'll have pretty golden 
brown chicken breast. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this it's nice and brown. Once you flip them, set your timer again. Looking good. Now I've got it turned down below medium and low. This is a large uh, burner just so that it doesn't get too brown too quick, okay? Okay, while you're frying up that chicken and boiling that pasta, go ahead and get you a jar of marinara out and pour it in a bowl, a pourable bowl if you have one. I'm going to use my batter bowl. Put a cup of water in the marinara jar, shake it up, and pour it into the marinara. And then just mix it up good. And you have time in between, so go ahead and get this ready, okay? So it don't take too long to make supper. Also, open up your sliced mozzarella cheese and set it aside to get it ready to go on your uh, chicken in the lasagna dish. You can also get a hand grater ready with your parm in it, or um, if you buy Parmesan in a bag, then you don't have to even worry about that step. I didn't make the whole pound of pasta because now that May's off to college, we don't have to cook quite as much. But the recipe does call for the full 16 ounces for a family. It's best to put this on a timer so you don't forget about it and get it too brown. But I like it nice and golden brown because then it's crunchy uh, when you go to eat your chicken parmesan. I like to spray my lasagna dish. You don't have to, but it, it just makes for easier cleanup. So we're going to spray our lasagna dish. And the first thing that you layer in here is the spaghetti noodles. Also substituted regular spaghetti for wheat spaghetti. Uh, just to make it a little healthier, you can do what you want to. After you put in the noodles, you're going to put in the marinara and you're going to pour it over the noodles. Now, this is a lot of marinara. I don't know that I'm going to use all of it, but I definitely want them to get nice and coated. So, that looks good to me. And remember what I said, don't forget about the water or it's going to be dry. Now what we're going to do is take our chicken and place it on the top of the marinara. You do not want to pour your marinara over the top of your chicken. If you do, then your chicken is going to get soggy. And that's what's so good about this dish is the crunchy, delicious crust that we just put on this chicken. So we don't want to mess that up, okay? I gotta scoot that one over a little bit to get everything in. Now you're going to peel off your mozzarella cheese and lay a piece of mozzarella over each piece of chicken. And then we're also going to take our Parmesan and we're going to grate Parmesan cheese onto the top of our mozzarella. You can save just a little bit for um, garnishing the top of the chicken when it comes out of the oven on your plate. We're going to get this in the oven and cook it until it's nice and bubbly. All right, we're going to slide this in the oven. All right, we're going to take out this nice French baguette. It was on sale. And I'm going to cut it uh, crossways. And I'm going to 
butter a couple of pieces for us to have with our chicken. If you're interested in making that homemade marinara, it's in my second cookbook. You can look under tomato pasta sauce. It is in there with the Italian meatballs, okay? So we are going to give this a try with my wheat noodles because it's healthy. Well, they all just fell off my fork. So good. Now look how pretty the chicken looks. And it's crunchy and delicious like it should be. Not soggy. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks where we cook like mama did.